and away they go from the 1900 meter marker. Principate began well in the green silks is the early leader. Back in second as some say, here's Manoush with the orange blinkers getting up into second play, the left between the two. Black Forest is back in sixth position now being passed there uh, towards the outside by Royce Fly who scored very wide in the early stages. Along the inside is Naked Truth, La Chakes about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Then comes Tower, further back is Radio with Mehmed, at the back is Action Story. And Royce Flyers very wide now as they move towards the 1100 meter marker. Play the left goes on to lead at Principate a second and Manoush is back in third position. Black Forest is also hooked deep on the outside with the green cab. Some say is near the rail, between the two of them is La Chake with about seven lengths to make up. Further back in the running at this stage is Naked Truth and then comes Roy's Flyer. Towers further back in the run, then Mehmed, righty O, and Action Stories the trailer, 10 11 lengths top to tail. Play the left, Principate's in the green. Manoush is back in third, some say is fourth, and then Black Forest, Lechek between the two of them. They are followed by Naked Truth along the rail, about five or six lengths off the leader. Mehmed is on the move around them, so is Radio. Action Story is also coming very wide into the stretch and then Tower. Into the home stretch, play the left, Principate down the insides in the green. Towards the outside, Black Forest, then comes Manoush, further back as some say. Principate though, gets away by two or three. Black Forest on the outside, some say, play the left, Lechek. But Principate has darted clear of the opposition. And Principate's well clear over the last hundred meters. And Principate will win. Black Forest will come out second. Principate won it. Black Forest. Third will go to Naked Truth. And fourth, Mehmed. Number eight, Principate was always prominent at the rail. Equipped with the blinkers on this occasion, the greys in. Brandon set him alight and at the 300 went through to tackle play the lap. You can see they eased up on a long rain at the business end. Seventh time at the track and Principate wins it well done to low in donation. The greys in. Number eight on the tote pays up 350 the win. Second, number 11, Black Forest. Third position will go to number two, Naked Truth. And then number four, Mehmet. The tote favorite was number seven, Manoush, who found no extra. Then play the left, well down the field. It's a well-stretched out field. Further back in the run was Action Story. As you look at the head on, Principate with the blue blinkers and the green cap, Black Forest from a wide draws in the middle of your picture. On the left, some say, then the Chaik. But at the business end, it's Principate, and Principate comes good to win it here, bred by Berlin Stud. Eighth the last time until Wednesday, Craig Peters signing off. Number eight, Principate has done the business in the last from the Lone Donation Sable, the son of Grey's in the blinkers on. And when you went for the blinkers, that's just to seal the deal. Yeah, Sheldon, you know, he's, he's really improved his last three runs. But he's been sort of getting there and then hitting the front and then maybe not quite going all the way through with it. Although last time I think it was, he was caught up in a pocket on the fence. They slowed it right down. You saw Anthony go around them and, and, and skip and pinch the race. Um, so, yeah, but we decided to put the blinkers on. It's, it's, it's definitely helped him concentrate all the way through. Well done. Thanks very much. Just yo, good luck to all these guys. Um, Andrew Carr, firstly. Um, thanks to him for getting Paul Cottrell in. It's his first horse, first winner. Uh, Jeremy Carr is unfortunately overseas on business. And then Brett Sia. So yeah, well done to them and good luck to uh, Bull and Stud as well. How's it out to uh, Eugene Freeman? He always phones and checks up how his horses are doing when, you, when you've bought a horse from him. Thanks Congratulations. Thank you. Let's get Paul and Brett into the picture. They're going to come through. Now, I believe this is your first winner? First winner, yeah. Very excited. Uh, came down from Belito just for the win. And uh, Brendan did a great ride on him. He had 
we had we didn't have much luck with him over the shorter distances, but we knew he was always going to be in the 2,000 meter distance. And he's run an honest race in the last four races, fourth, third, and second, and now first. So ecstatic. Lone put the blinkers on him for the first time, and uh, very happy. It's one of those feelings you can't describe. No, no, it's a brilliant feeling. I've been waiting for this day since I was about six years old. You know, <laughs> it's a brilliant feeling. The dream has come true. Yeah, Enjoy. To thank Andrew Carr, he got me into this. Uh, as a partner, he took me down to the sales in about uh, two years ago, and uh, I think this was the third horse I saw in the ring, and I just jumped, and I said, let's go for it, and uh, jumped the gun, and <laughs> very happy about it. Go enjoy the champagne. Thanks, thanks so much, Todd. Rich, you want to come through while we wait for Brandon there? Lovely moment? Yeah, I know, nice win. Uh, I said to the boys, it's a game changer tonight, uh, Lone put the blinkers on. That's what I thought this horse needed, uh, so made a big difference. A uh, different horse, blinkers. Uh, well done to my partner Jeremy, he's not here, but uh, he had to fly to London for business start. Uh, it seems like every time he's away we have winners, but uh, we're going to keep on sending him a business. That's the way, keep sending him away, enjoy the moment. Cheers man, thanks Sheldon, cheers. Let's get Brandon into the picture in those green and black silks. Now I heard you chirping, you've got a good strike rate here with the stable? Yeah, thank you very much to learn. Three out of three, three out of three winners. So all credit to him, you know, I don't ride work for him and he puts me on at the right time it looks like. When he went down to the gate with the blinkers on, he looked super. He did. He, was, he had a lovely rich coat and you know, he was a nice spring in his step. And uh, he showed that out the gate too. He pinged the gate and he, he controlled the race from then on. And uh, he controlled it again with 400 to go with a, with a nice turn of foot. You've given Paul his first winner, so really elated for the connections. Yeah, congrats to Paul. Lovely to ride his first winner. Well done to Brett and, and the rest of the cars. Well done to them. And well done again to Lowe. And Safe trip home. Yeah, hopefully we don't hit the storm, but I'd like to say well done to, to the ladies from the Pink Drive and, and obviously everyone involved. I would have liked to have worn the cap, but I never got one. But uh, thanks to Zorg Fleet also, you know, they, they allowed me to wear these breeches tonight and, and I'm very grateful. Well done. Thank you. Well done to all concerned, Gold Circle, all the sponsors, the Pink Drive. It's been a fascinating and great evening's racing. Of course, the weather, it's just played ball. There's lightning and thunder overhead, but we've gotten through the meeting. Safe trip home.